everyone and welcome to my latest movie review where today I review a new release as well. Yeah, these come, f <laughs> these don't come every day during the COVID-19 pandemic. Today's new release review is Bill and Ted Face the Music, which I believe is the third movie in the Bill and Ted, well, trilogy, I guess I could say. Bit of background, <laughs> I've actually never seen the Bill and Ted movies until this one, so I can't say anything about the first two. I will probably watch them at some point, but at the moment I have no way of accessing them unless they're on streaming. I mean, at some point I will touch on the first two, but uh, as this was a new release and there was, well, nothing else new that I hadn't seen yet, I thought, well, I'll, I'll go and watch it just to say I've reviewed it. So the plot of this movie is that basically, once again, Bill and Ted are called back uh, into another time travel adventure where they basically have to write a song that will unite the universe because time is falling apart. Uh, people are are in the wrong time streams, and it's, it's kind of very Doctor Who. And basically, yeah, they have to come up with a song in order to save the world. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. They do this with the help of their daughters as well, Bill and Ted's daughters, who are actually both best friends and surprisingly similar to their dads, lol. And yeah, that's basically it. It's 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 yeah, that's that's it. Bill and Ted face the music. I'm. I'm going to be very honest and say that I did not like this movie. I'm really sorry. I'm sure the first two are good. I mean, I haven't seen them, but I will touch on them at some point. But this third movie just... I haven't even seen the first two to know that this one is tired. It just feels so tired and lazy. The story is just nothing. How does writing a song save the universe? I know this is supposed to be a comedy, although I can't really call it a comedy because I didn't laugh very much. I really was watching this kind of befuddled, thinking, what is actually good about this movie? <laughs> I mean, okay, the performances are, are decent, I'd say. I mean, you know, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are, are good in their respective roles. I think they seem a bit too old to be doing this now. I don't know, it just it just seems like they're just old geezers past their time doing this, you know? It just doesn't feel fresh, it doesn't feel like what they're doing is funny. And I just couldn't really invest in their characters. Yeah, it just it just didn't it, it didn't grab me this movie. Also, I think the daughters are kind of pointless as well. I mean you've got um Thea, played by Samara Weaving, who I think is um Bill's daughter. She's pretty good. I mean, I mean, and then you've got Bridget Lundy Payne who plays Billy, and they are t they are two best friends as well. I mean, I don't know why they're even in this movie. I mean, you know, they just come along for the ride. Then it turns out they have to write the song. Okay, where did that come from? At the end of the day, I don't have a lot to say about this movie. It was just really lazy and boring, and I started to really get bored because. There wasn't much going on, and I, I, I again, I, I didn't laugh very much. I mean, we have a few historical figures in this movie. We got Louis Armstrong who comes in, and it's nice to see him <laughs> make a make a brief appearance. The actor that plays him is decent. I also really like William Sadler as Death. I think Death and there's a robot called Dennis. <laughs> Those two characters are are actually kind of decent. I, I I quite like them. They were probably the best things about this movie. Also, this movie on a technical level is terrible. I think the, the CGI uh, green screen effects are really bad. They're clearly on a budget for this film, but surely you think they could do a bit better than this. It just it just looks really off and not very good. I can't describe it any better than that. I'm sorry. It's just it, the visuals are terrible for this film. And you know, you've got a couple of decent effects, but... Moreover, there's just the whole look of this film just really, it almost feels like a very bad video game. It kind of should have been a video game, really. Like, they're just going from place to place, level to level. It just feels like there's so much time hopping. I know it's it's meant to be a film about time travel, but it feels like they're kind of going, they don't, that's all, they're, all the movie is doing. There's no narrative. That's all it's doing. It's just jumping from one time to another, and Bill and Ted are just coming across versions of themselves all the time, and... It just becomes really thin very quickly. That the, the, there is the humor is terrible in this film. I did not laugh. I mean, I tittered once. <laughs> literally that. Not even a chuckle. A titter. <laughs> yeah, literally that is all I did for this movie. There were three other people in the cinema with me who um who actually were laughing. So obviously the movie's you know probably funnier to some others, or maybe it's because I haven't seen the other ones. I don't know, but I did not get a lot out of this movie. <laughs> I really didn't. There, were, there was nothing funny about it. It's technically terrible. The music isn't bad, I suppose. And these two guys, they just they just look past it by this point. They just look like they should really go away and do something else. I know that Keanu Reeves is going to be making The Matrix 4 
but, you know, God knows why. And the climax of this movie is kind of stupid, really, how when they just, they just play the song and that fixes everything. The whole point is that Bill and Ted go forward in time to steal the song from themselves in the future because they can't be asked to write it, so well, they don't know when they're going to write it. There, there is urgency to the situation, I'll give it that, but, but at the end of the day, I just did not care about this movie. I really did not care about it. I will still check out the first two because I do think that I'm obviously missing out on something because everybody has been raving about Bill and Ted, so... Yeah, uh, it's just a shame I started with this one. Yeah, I think I think this is a terrible film. Bill and Ted face the music. It's 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 crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, and the wives, and there's this you know, sort of relationship drama going on with their wives who sort of also go traveling around in time as well. And then the film doesn't really know what to do. It's like focusing on the wives and then the daughters and then them, and the wives. Like, well, I don't know why they're even in it. Like they they're going to search in time. For different versions of themselves or whatever they're going to search for other husbands for for a better life or something and then they just forgive bill and ted it's like oh yeah it it gets convoluted and messy so and the direction by dean parasot um yeah i'm sorry just it didn't work for me so i can't really say too much more about this movie it it really was just boring it was boring unfunny just felt very tired to me the daughters were pointless, the wives were pointless, pretty much the whole movie was pointless. The thing, the two things I liked were death and Dennis the, the robot. Dennis the robot was, was kind of amusing, although the, the joke about his name kept, you know, it was, again, kind of running a bit thin, but those were the two best characters in the film. I guess I'll have to give Bill and Ted Face the Music, I'm gonna have to give it a 2 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, because I only like two things in it. I mean, it's it's not like it's offensively bad. It's just that there, that there is nothing in this movie to enjoy. It's just boring. So just don't bother with it. Just skip it. I mean, I would even say New Mutants is better than this. And that's saying something. I mean, I gave them the same rating. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this review. Uh, have you seen this movie? Please comment down below. Let me know. And I will review the first two Bill & Ted films at some point. I don't own them. I have streaming. I have Netflix. So if they do appear on Netflix, then I will watch them on there. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'm Mr. Tyler Eleven. See you soon. Bye for now.